BC, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to Final Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. This is number 95. That's right, folks. Number 95. Found some records this week, and we're going to get into them right now. Coming in hot, hard to find record Janet by Janet Jackson. That's right. This is an iconic photo shoot. You probably recognize this. I think in the actual photo, someone has their hands over Janet like this. You know, looking rather beautiful in this photo. This is a pop record, R&B, dance record. A lot of drum machines, some live drum kit. Pretty good. Was very, very collectible. Then they did a few reissues. It's a little less now, but still really good if you see it for cheap i found this one for around 20 bucks and thought yeah i gotta get that uh used to sell for over 100 you know if i keep it i'm fine with that if i don't this is very good trade fodder for me so this is a double lp on the custom very dark janet label very good very good i like that a lot next if you've been watching the channel, you might have noticed a few weeks ago, I got this record from Jeffrey Lee Puckett. It is an audiophile grade record that you must have in your collection. That said, I just found it again for $5 and I wasn't going to let it sit because it's in near mint condition. That's right, Tracy Chapman, Fast Car, all that business. Great sounding record, really clean copy, had to get it. Last week, I showed Paul Simon's Graceland re reissue cut by Kevin Gray, right? Great sounding. Then yesterday, I found this. Boom. OG on that Warner Brothers label, right? Dead Mint. Found two of them right next to each other. Evidently, someone that sold their collection had some pretty cool audio file type recordings. It's where I got the Tracy Chapman as well. And uh, found this. This sounds amazing. Now, which one sounds better, the Kevin Gray or the original? Hard to say. They both sound very good. This one, surprisingly. Now, it is mint, okay? So that, that matters. So it's dead quiet and sounds amazing. If you can't find a mint one, I suspect the Kevin Gray one will be the one that you would probably want to go with. Speaking of very clean, classic records, right? Bam. Rolling Stones, Sticky Fingers. Now, I have multiple copies of this record. They're hard for me to find because I put them to where the zipper is against the wall of the record shelves so that they don't dig into the back of the next record. And then I forget where I put them. So, yeah, I, I probably have a few different copies of this record. This one was really, really clean. I think it's just a PR pressing. Here's another one with hype sticker, yeah. You know, this is a fantastic record, Wild Horses. My very favorite Rolling Stones song, Can't You Hear Me Knockin', what an epic track. If you don't have Sticky Fingers, you should definitely get it. Look at this freaking hype sticker, that is so cool. Saw that, four bucks, had to get it. You know, last week I was running my mouth about, um, there's no classic rock around, I don't see any classic rock. And then this week I stumble into a whole pad load of classic rock. It's insane. Um, speaking of hype stickers, my very favorite hype sticker of all time, period, is right here. Bam. Pink Floyd, wish you were here. Look at this hype. Joe Mudd wrote his name on it, sucker. Found another copy of Wish You Were Here in the shrink. That's right. I've got two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Beautiful. Christine hype sticker on that one. Both very clean. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Had to get it. Gilmore. 
stealing the show on this. Talk about an just a magical piece of epic proportions. And you're talking about Shine On. Everything they did on this record from the production, the tones, the concept, the packaging, totally insane. I would love to find a UK version of this record, but uh, the chances of me finding that here are not very good. Super stoked on that though. All right, let's get in to some major finds here. I walked in and I immediately realized there's been a major collection sell-off. Now, there was a lot of really good things at the shop that I could have got. This was a bookstore, but, you know, limited funding here, folks. Okay, so I had to, you know, choose wisely. I didn't want to buy too many things I already had. There was a lot of clean who there, a lot of good yes, but I, I didn't get any of that. There was a lot of Dio there, and I was going to get it all, but it was just too expensive. But here's a record I have been trying to get for a while, couldn't find a clean copy. This one is Dead Man. Def Leppard, On Through the Night. That's right. This is the first record. This record and High and Dry are different than the rest of the catalog. Now, I still like Pyromania pretty good, okay? But this is much before the more poppy Def Leppard. This is like straight rock. This is more in the vein of like, say, Scorpions or something like that. Metal ish right it's metal it's metal it's metal okay rock hard rock metal you know a uh, epic cover on the mercury label super clean really nice really really nice later on in their career they were doing this thing that i kind of appreciate a little bit where they were picking their favorite songs from other artists and trying to recreate them to get hits right so say for instance Pour Some Sugar On Me is based off of We Will Rock You by Queen, see? It's got, you know, kind of that wrapped verse and then that big, huge hook that's like a big gang vocal with lots and lots of vocals. And it worked like a charm. They just hit after hit after hit, especially on that Hysteria record. But this, for me, is what I liked about Death leopard this period here in particular high and dry yeah. speaking of queen yeah <laughs> jazz yeah that's right on this super cool queen jazz label with a person riding a bicycle obviously bicycle or bicycle riding is on here freaking epic track it goes from i want to ride my bicycle part to the kind of more heavy, like in your face. Back in the day, I had a buddy named Tim Long, shout out to Tim Long, who had a daughter named Weezer. And Weezer would tell me that Freddie Mercury was the greatest rock vocalist of all time. And of course I was like, you're out of your mind, it's Robert Plant. But I will say this, when Freddie Mercury sings with himself, he might be the greatest of all time. Because it just takes on a symphonic quality that is just, really unparalleled. I mean, he's really great at doubling himself and doing other parts and stuff like that. It's incredible sounding. This record has things like that all over it. It's fantastic. I got this for $10. It's really, really clean. So super stoked on that. And the song Fat Bottom Girls, right? He says, get on your bikes and ride, right? And I always, you know, that sounds like a motorcycle song to me, you know, kind of a, you know, just a classic rock, get, you know, you know, biker thing. But he's talking about bicycles. In the song, Bicycle Riding, he makes reference to Fat Bottom Girl. I, it just, he's talking about riding bicycles in, in that song. Anyway, next, here you go. This, this was insane. So I walk in, the first record I see is a Kill em All, Metallica's Kill em All, original pressing, it's 80 bucks. I'm like, eh. The next one I see is like a, um, an EP, and then I see this for 20 bucks. Near Mint, by the way. Bam, Master of Puppets, incredible. Cliff Burton's magnum opus right here. Obviously, Orion is on this. Incredible, Master of Puppets, Battery, 
damaged incorporated so fast so fast welcome home this is a gnarly metallica record let me tell you if you are skeptical about metallica if you think oh yeah well, well metallica sucks or whatever listen to this record okay this is back in the cliff burton days when they straight up fucking rocked okay this this shit is awesome and uh on the Electra, right killer artwork of course i already had one paid up big money for this mint condition copy right and you know really good probably my favorite metallica record fantastic all the cliff burton stuff is, is really good master ride the lightning these are all og original pressings kill them all mega force yeah that's right Yeah, I've got all that Metallica stuff. And uh, they're pretty good. Uh, I'm, I like Metallica pretty much all the way up to Injustice. Then the Black Album, they're sort of a different... I mean, they were different in on Injustice. Even more so on the Black Album. Load, they're a totally different band. Uh, as far as just the music they're making. And then after that, they kind of lost me a bit. But a bit, a lot. That said, no, no ill will. I still love Metallica. I think they're a great band, but you know they change and evolve just like all musicians do. You know you can choose to either like it or not. This is sort of the gateway drug to rock and roll. That's right. Kiss, first record. That's right. Hype sticker, kissing time, strutter, and nothing to lose. Yeah, that's right. The first pressing to feature, Kissing Time, right? Label with the Smoking Man on it. Casablanca, right? Very, very nice, very clean. Paid six bucks for this. I was in this shop, which we won't speak about because it's still pretty secretive. And the guy told me that he had just bought 10,000 rock records. Yeah. And... I start looking through a lot of Kiss in there, different eras, different pressings. I saw this one, Smoking Man label. I snatched it six bucks. He also had every Madonna record, including all the singles. It was wild. But um, yeah, this is super nice. Strutter Man. This, th this record right here is cut so hot and it sounds really good. Their influence just casts a huge shadow over all of rock music. You know, there's a certain age of person that I meet that are musicians, and when I talk to them about what their favorite band is, it, a lot of them will say, oh, Kiss, I love Kiss. If these dudes knew how to execute, what they're doing is not crazy hard to play or anything, but they do it really well, and they had the whole package, the look, the marketing, the music, it was all there. Kiss, ruling, ruling, straight up ruling. Speaking of ruling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush, hemispheres, yeah. Trademark Rush sound on this. Amazing cover art, look at this. Got a, he's on a brain, this is insane. Um, got this fantastic custom label here with the brains on it, I mean, this is awesome. And trees. Oh man, this this is this is really really good. I, if you like Rush at all, you got to get this record. I love Rush. Everybody in my band loves Rush. Uh, you know, it's about the most sound three guys can put out. Neil, one of the finest drummers that has ever existed takes up a lot of sonic territory i mean this is just killer stuff rush hemispheres yeah super clean super clean <clears throat> all this said there is a record i've mentioned multiple times on this channel i've been looking for it for so long i wrote this down on a list of records to find the day before I found it. Psychic. 
vinyl vine. Anyway, I walk in, flip, 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 there it is. Near Mint. The cleanest possible original pressing of this record that you could imagine. Plays so good. You might know this record because it has Black Flag's TV Party on it. That's right. The Repo Man soundtrack. This is one of the best punk rock soundtracks. Now, they're not, there's not that many, but, you know, you got this, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, that's pretty dope. But this has Iggy Pop, Black Flag, The Circle Jerks, right? The Plugs. This is fantastic. Check out this custom label. Hand punching through the ground, shattering a record. This is so clean. I've been looking for this for so long. It is a true grail for me. And really is a huge check mark off records that I've been looking to find. You know that I'm looking for the Meter's first record, Hardcore. I, that is the number one record on the list. The first Meter's record. I have to get... I have to get it. I have to get it. I'm searching very diligently for that record. I will go to any length to find it. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But the point is, this is a major box ticked in my records to find category. I'm running out of rock records to buy. As you can see, I'm buying a lot of the same ones over and over again. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting here today with... That's right. The damn electro got put away. I'm back on the 58 Stratocaster. If you haven't heard my band's record, Nothing Matters, Everything Matters by Condors in the System, please check it out on Bandcamp or here on YouTube. It's on all streaming platforms. And please, by all means, like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave some comments down below. That's right, folks. Until we meet again. Mm -hmm. Bob out.